essentially that goes along with that that we'll read. But Mr. Jones, uh, before I read this one, I think it's also important to note that uh, Mr. Jones, your office, as well as Parks and Rec, um, I was told I can't say for the first time in our city's history, but first time since I can remember, we have uh, Black History, Charlottesville celebrates Black History Month posters up and down the mall. So if you guys walk on the mall, you'll see those posters. Uh, this past week, many of you attended. We had a community conversation and a, a private screening of the Black Panther movie um, that took place on the downtown mall. Uh, a couple of businesses decided to allow us to come in and, and we uh, took over the mall, quote unquote. So I think that we are, have a long way to go, but we are indeed making strides. And this leads us to the next proclamation of sorts uh, next month on March 3rd. Last year was the first year that we celebrated Liberation and Freedom Day. And from this day forth, we will be celebrating this day. So we want everyone to understand on March 3rd, that is the official day in which the slaves here in Charlottesville and Albemarle County were set free. And we have a proclamation of sorts that reads, uh, whereas the city of Charlottesville recognizes March 3rd, 2018, as Liberation Day in Charlottesville, and whereas more than half of the population of Charlottesville and Albemarle County at the time of the Civil War were enslaved, and whereas the historical fact remained little known until the salutary work of the Charlottesville Blue Ribbon Commission on Race, Monuments, and Public Spaces, which promoted public knowledge of this important aspect of the history of our city and county. And whereas the city of Charlottesville endeavors to promote equity and change the narrative on race by recognizing and celebrating African American history, all of our history, as an important element of the city's collective history. And whereas 14,000 members of our community struggled for generations in bondage and were freed on March 3rd, 1865, owing to the arrival of, U of Union forces under the command of Generals Custer and Sheridan, who enforced the 1863 Emancipation Proclamation. And whereas the values of freedom and justice are universal and are thus rightly celebrated by everyone, now therefore be it resolved by declaration of the Charlottesville City Council that March 3rd, that March the 3rd is hereby officially recognized by the city and celebrated as Freedom and Liberation Day. And this too was signed by our illustrious mayor and endorsed on behalf of all of the city council members. Please mark your calendars on March 2nd that, and March 3rd. We will have a weekend celebration there, excuse me, March 3rd. Thank you, uh, Dr. Schmidt. On March 3rd, we'll have a celebration with the University of Virginia as well as the African American Heritage Center. There will be events that begin at 9 a.m. at the University of Virginia. There will be a march that takes place from UVA to the African American Heritage Center, the Jefferson School, in which there will be a culminating program. So please. And this is indeed changing the narrative. Not only do we celebrate black history, which we celebrate year round, but we also make note of commemorating significant days like March 3rd, a date in which we should all be very proud of. And again, it's official, March 3rd, from this day forth, Freedom and Liberation Day. Thank you.